Okay, this is my reaction from last time and as you can see, there's some blue stuff here. So that means that the copper precipitate out so the reaction should be done. Oh my god, I haven't done this in forever. I think first I'm gonna like evaporate all the solvent so that it's more concentrated because right now it's THF in water. So I've evaporated, put it back into DCM and then I can run a TLC to see how much approximately product I have or how much conversion happens and then I'll prepare for the call. Oh, it's coming back to me, it's coming back to me. Got another step. I think I first have to filter this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just gonna have this and I'm gonna grab a cotton ball and I'll put this in there for one second. Here it is. So, I think this is the starting material. This is the starting material with the reaction and this is the reaction. So it looks like my reaction did make something new. There's still some starting material left, but this was more prominent. So I'm gonna column this now. I think this stuff is impurity should come out first and then my compound and then the starting material. Let's go column. All right. I have my compound loaded onto here. I have not seen this in so long. I don't know why they removed these two though. Something wrong with it? I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's already starting to collect something pink here and this is all pink. I think that was the impurity at the very bottom of the plate. Remember from the TLC plate? Like I'm looking at my notes and I think I synthesized this compound in October 2020. Wow. Yeah, that's so long ago. I'm so nervous. I really hope my compound is pure. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> okay, I'll update you later. Just watching this now. I thought that this was my compound, but I don't think it's that. Because my compound, I think, is still in there, I think. And yeah, from last time, it looked more intense. Like, this is, what, 2,000? And this is only 300? So I'm gonna hold it at this percent, which is 80% acetyl nitrile. I really hope it comes out, though. But man, oh man, I do not miss this at all. I do not miss it, this is at all. This is too much anxiety, like... Cause it's different every single time. Uh, science, science. Okay, never mind. I think that might actually be my compound because I checked the TLC and it looks like it matches my product. Okay, I'm gonna concentrate these. Actually, I'm gonna check TLC again for all of these fractions and then I'll concentrate it, I guess. Okay, but I think the free drug is still here, so I'm gonna run just all of the solvent out. So just 100% SEO nitrile to collect the unreacted compound because then I can just recycle that and use it again. If I have to synthesize, God forbid it. If I have to synthesize this again, I can just reuse it. Okay, let's go check the TLC.
all of that work for this much oh my gosh oh well, i'm going to dilute this in dcm and then transfer it to a smaller vial so i have my vial here with the tear weight ah so close so close So old is crispy now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Found one. Should also do one more TLC just to confirm. Uh, I collected the right compound. I think I did because the other ones did, but let's just do it one more time with the final compound. Oh my gosh. This morning, I every time I'm stressed, I wake up like super early to do whatever, you know, to deal with whatever stresses me out, is stressing me out. But right now, it's my thesis because I got like comments to work through and oh my gosh. Like I woke up at 4.30 today and was working on it all morning to I had a dentist appointment and I came here at around noonish. And now I'm just crashing. So this morning I had like like three cups of coffee to get me awake and like functional. So I wanna finish this and go home soon. But at the same time I wanna spend time with Noju too because I haven't seen her in so long. Noju and Jamin. There's a little bit here. Use this. So I usually spot like the reference compound. Uh, so I took an aliquot from the silica slurry before columning, which I also have here. Remember this, this is the reference, has three kind of things, four kind of things. Co-spot with the columned compound. So like the pure, supposedly pure compound and then the column compound by itself. So that way I can check to make sure that I isolated the right fraction. So it's a mixture of 10% methanol DCM and that should run and do its thing. So this compound now is ready to be evaporated to remove the solvent and this is my final report. So I need to dump all the solvent. <laughs> so yeah, we saw three spots on the TLC. So I think this is first, second, third. This should be my product. This should be the unreacted drug. So there's only two fractions, so it's not too bad. So I don't think I'm gonna collect this cause yeah, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Yay. Okay, solvent line is reaching the top right there. Yeah, I think that's good enough. <laughs> Okay, let's get this. Uh, let's dry it off. I usually blow some air. I don't have hands to do it, but usually air. Okay, wait, I can do this. Let's go with dry off the solvent. And then, you can look under the UV lamp together. Nice, okay. I just see one spot for my columned compound. The reference has like this unreacted drug and something else. So yay! We got the compound! So I usually just draw or kind of outline the spots so that I can uh, put it to my notebook. Are you right? Are you done? I have, um, I have a break until 6. Huh? I have a break until 6. Oh my god, let's go! Let's go get ice cream. Are you, are you done? Huh? Are you done? I just need to evaporate. Just like uh, oh yeah, just uh, evaporate this thing. Okay. So I can do it on her back. And that's it. And then you're done for the day. Hello, hello. It is quarter to six. I just got back. We went for ice cream. Now, now I will concentrate this sample and see how much compound I got. How's your ice cream? Perfect. It was perfect. It was great. Uh, Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Oh. So I usually use this adapter thingy to connect it to the road map. So that doesn't fit. Okay, it's the wrong one. This should be the right one. 
This feels loose. Okay, it is loose. Nice. Okay, it's all connected now. I get super antsy when I put this on because like my worst fear is the vacuum like breaks here. So <laughs> when I was putting that on this fell off, I was like, oh no. Yeah, if this is loose, then like uh, I'm just scared it'll just fall off and like my sample will fall into the water bath. I'm gonna take my time with this to concentrate it. Let's see how much we got. <laughs> I have about 200 something milligrams here, so I think that's pretty good. So yay, mission accomplished. I'm just going to clean up all this stuff now and put this away and head home finally. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Anyways, as per usual, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.